time once again for Uncle Matt's Bedtime Story. Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is called Super Buns. Super Buns by Diane Credensor. And um, looks like it's another superhero story. Looks like kindness is her superpower. Kindness. All right, here we go. Oh, it says some information in the back here I'll read. Blossom, I guess that's the bunny here, knows everything. I know that a sneeze can travel at a speed of up to 100 miles per hour. Lobsters pee from their faces and turtles can breathe through their butts. The oldest living tree in the world is around 5,000 years old Oh, male seahorses give birth, and I know that kindness is not a superpower. Wait a minute. I thought it says here that kindness is a superpower. Oh, it's a different bunny. Anyways, let's uh, let's get into the story. Um, this story, again, by Diane Credensor, was uh, copyrighted in 2019. Are you ready? Here we go. Super buns. All right, we got a picture of super buns. Super buns was super kind with listening ears, a warm, happy smile, a huge heart, big, caring eyes, and a fluffy tail. Oh, the fluffy tail, that's just for being cute, I guess. She loved being kind no matter what her big sister Blossom said. Ah, that's who Blossom is. Super Buns, hmm. For the tenth billionth time, your name is Buns. You're not a superhero. Okay, well, a little jealousy there. And looks like uh, Super Buns here is doing a good deed about watering some carrots. And uh, they got to thank Super Buns over here. Blossom. Remember, that's the sister. Blossom was a 100% positive. Superheroes had powers like strength or speed or leaping tall buildings in a single bound. And as Blossom always told Buns, kind is kind. But it's not a superpower. Blossom was a know-it-all. She knew everything about everything. It says here, I know everything about everything. Fact, kangaroos cannot hop backward. And I know that almonds are a member of the rose family. And fact, dinosaur lay eggs. And fact, the planet Venus spins backward. And fact, bumber shoot is another word for umbrella. Two facts, an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain and a peanut is not a nut. And I know you can't eat hot cobbler without cold milk, so come on. The bunnies were on their way to Granny's with a fresh baked piping hot carrot cobbler. Ah, here's Super Buns here making some comments. Heidi, your smile makes me smile. Here you go, fishy fish. One pancake coming up. Blossom thought uh, all this kindness was slowing them down. Kind schmine, kind will get you nothing but cold cobbler. Make it snappy, Buns. We've still got to pick up milk. And uh, Super Buns here was making little 
balloon animals. But buns couldn't help being super. Super buns, even to her sister. After you, Blossom, look what happened there. Super buns was being nice to Blossom there with that puddle and the water spray. And after you, too, Miss Fox, I noticed that you've been following us all day. And then Blossom goes, did you say? Fox? Oh, no. Blossom knew exactly what to do. Run, 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 buns, run. I know all about foxes. First she'll gobble up the cobbler, then she'll gobble up us. Yeah. Oh, there's a good exchange. Here you go. Thank you, Miss Fox. No gobbling there. I won't gobble up your cobbler, miss, or you. I'm not hungry. I'm lost. Can you help me get home? Blossom was speechless. Almost. Lost? Oh, look at that. Well, why didn't you say so? I know everything about being lost. Did you know that the most common lost items are keys, phones, eyeglasses, and shoes? Once Buns lost her homework, and I found it in Miss Lynn's flower pot. The lost city of Atlantis has never been found. And Renoki was the lost colony. I know that the letters in lost can also spell lots and slot. And that lost is the past tense for form of lose. And Granny once told me that I am never a lost for words. So we just take Bunny Lane to Carrot Drive until we come to Miss Muffin's Marvelous Muffins. And then we'll make a sharp right turn up a hill into North Castle Hop Drive will follow that all the way to Fox Trot Trail and your home. Thanks for helping me not be lost, Super Blossom. Super Blossom. And just like that, Blossom learned she didn't know everything about everything. Maybe Buns was right. Maybe being kind was kind of super. Let's go get that milk, super buns. Granny's waiting. Wow. Another superhero in the mix of that family. That is all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.